My name is Anna and this is me at 19. I turn 20 in a couple of weeks and that is a very scary and daunting thing for me. I am no longer going to be a teenager, instead I will be in my 20s. When people refer to me and my age, they will say, she's in her 20s. And I don't know why this is such an intimidating thing, but for some reason it is. Maybe I'll have more accountability, maybe I'll have to be more responsible, and it just seems like things are going by quickly. <sighs> but <laughs> me at 19, I am a daughter. A student who's going to be a junior this upcoming year in college. I'm a friend, I'm a sister, I work in a bakery, I have traveled around the world for the past four months, and 19 years of age have treated me pretty well. These are my favorite clothes. This is what I wear on my face. These are some of my favorite shoes. And these are some of my absolute favorite people. I'm finishing off this year on the high of traveling abroad. And so as a 19 year old, I got to stand on top of the Eiffel Tower. I got to watch a rugby game in Ireland. I got to visit the salt mines in Krakow, Poland. I saw red telephone booths in Buckingham Palace in London. I lived in Italy. It's a certain high <laughs> that I'm coming off of and down into, and I'm still feeling a bit stuck, but I'm slowly adjusting to that, and I'm learning that that's okay. I think I've learned more about myself this past year than I have in my entire life. <laughs> I've been pushed to do new and crazy, crazy things, have learned what true friendship means to me, and have grown in my cultural and worldview. And it's been really rewarding. And though this upcoming year seems a little less cookie cutter exciting, I'm eager to see what this 20th year of age will bring and how this new 20 year old is going to be at the end of it. But to my future 27 self, my future 30 year old, 40, 50 year old self, if you two even exist by that time, this is what you were like at 19. You still love to write. You consider yourself an amateur photographer. You're getting into video. You've had this YouTube channel now for like two years, I think, which is crazy. You still like to read and to go on adventures and to travel. You do a little bit of cooking and baking here and there. And you're just trying to find yourself like everyone else is. But luckily you have a bunch of amazing people at your side. And I have a feeling that things are going to be okay.